Thank you so much for joining us on the programme. Well, this is a highly anticipated speech, and there's some talk that uh, Donald Trump might try to be conciliatory, but the big issues are going to loom large, aren't they? The border wall, immigration, climate change. Uh, what are you expecting from this? Yeah, Isabel, you're exactly right. In my conversations with White House officials, they suggest that this speech tonight will be, in their words, unifying and optimistic and visionary. They've said the same things in the past, but the president's words have not always met his actions. Tonight, obviously, for the president, one of the crucial issues is this topic of immigration, as you just showed in that piece moments ago. But recognize that he's going to arrive in a House chamber that is now no longer fully controlled by Republicans. And frankly, it's a chamber that could try to impeach him one day. Literally hovering behind him over his shoulder will be the Democrat House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who was successful in defeating him in the recent showdown over that 35-day shutdown. There are indications today that the president will not declare a national emergency to go around Congress to get uh, funds for that border wall. At least he won't declare it tonight. There are still 10 more days left until that funding deadline. But recognize, again, the audience to whom he'll be speaking tonight is filled with so many Democrats who now have the power to investigate the president and his administration. Isabel? Yeah, well, it looks like it's going to be a hostile audience uh, in the House. Um, so how different will this be to last year's speech where, you know, obviously he, he was supported? Well, no, it's a good point that you make. I think it will be very different. Uh, among those in attendance will be some of those people who will be there as the guests of Democrats who were negatively affected by the president's policies on immigration, on the shutdown. That includes furloughed workers and even on the president's ban on transgender troops. So it is not going to be the warm reception that the president sort of revels in. Nonetheless, there will be a lot of Republicans who try to emphasize their support for him. The president will try to tout the economy. The White House officials say he'll try to tout some issues that he believes have the potential for both sides to work together, like trade and infrastructure and prescription drugs. And on one issue that I think all sides can agree, we are told the president will also tee up an effort to try to end the epidemic of HIV by the year 2030. So whether those efforts are enough to unify the chamber, I think most of those who will be in attendance tonight are skeptical of that. Isabel? Uh, absolutely. Whichever side of the divide you're on, I think it's going to be an interesting speech. Thanks so much for joining us, yeah. uh, Peter Alexander.